Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday so it is meal prep day. I have three amazing healthy whole food focused recipes for you. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every single Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, I will link my recipe website. That is where you will find all of today's recipes, all of my recipes in general, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, questions to talk with me directly, and those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain a 140 pound weight loss, as well as discounts to my favorite things and come join our free, amazing, supportive Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. For my breakfast this week, I'm actually making three ingredient cottage cheese pancakes. I just got home from the gym, so I'm going to make these. I'm going to have this for breakfast, so I'll show you some different options to put these pancakes together. Super easy, super high protein, full of whole complex carbs. So let me show you what you'll need. First, you're going to need eggs, rolled oats, cottage cheese of your choice. Of course, I'm using good culture. And then you're going to add just a pinch of salt. Super easy, nice three ingredient recipe. So I'm doubling it so it'll make four servings total. So I have one cup of rolled oats, one cup of cottage cheese. We're going to crack in four eggs. And then a pinch of salt and we're going to blend it up until smooth. So this is what the batter is going to look like before we make our pancake. So I have a small pan warming up. You could use a skillet, you could use a waffle maker, whatever your preference. But we're going to put one quarter of our batter in our pan. And then we're going to allow this to cook with pancakes. You want to not notice, you want to make sure there's no visible liquid. It's kind of bubbly and starting to become a little bit solid before we flip it over. Perfect, perfect pancake. And we're just going to repeat that for a total of four pancakes. Here's what the pancakes look like. I'll go ahead and get the one that I put on a plate all ready to go, show you kind of how I'm going to put it together for breakfast this morning. So here is how I'm going to have it for breakfast. So I went ahead and just added a teaspoon of real Kerrygold butter, and then I had some fruit, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. Another thing you could do is add some Chia Smash. That would be actually really good on there. I buy my Chia Smash off of either Nutrition or Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. And then we have the pancake. You could add sugar-free maple syrup to this, nut butter, whatever your preference, but this looks absolutely amazing. So I'll put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For my lunch this week, I'm making turkey cheddar apple pinwheels. I'm going to pair this with a chip. I picked up those Terra vegetable chips at Sam's Club. I may do those. I have Quest chips. Just kind of depends on what I'm in the mood for. I may do crackers one day, but let me show you what you'll need for the wrap. So you're going to need a wrap of your choice. I picked these up at Sprouts, and I've never actually had this brand before, the Carbonaut, but I was out of low-carb wraps, and I needed them for this recipe. These actually have 70 calories and 5 grams of protein, so not bad at all, plus 14 grams of fiber. So we'll try those out for our wrap. You'll need spinach, a cheese of your choice. I have the Trader Joe's Light Cheddar Cheese, apple, Dijon mustard or regular mustard, and then zero point or low calorie turkey breast. So for our wraps, super, super simple. My plan is to just assemble these the day that I'm going to eat them. So I'll have this for lunch today. I have all of my components ready to go for the week. So I have my spinach leaves, my apple, my turkey, and my cheese. So the first thing we're going to do is spread some Dijon mustard or regular mustard on your wrap, and then basically just spread that out. And then this turkey is three slices for a serving, so I'm going to do three slices. 
Then I'm going to add my one slice of light cheese, my spinach, and then some apple slices. And then we are going to roll it up. You want to roll it in the same direction of your cut apple slices. That'll just make it a lot easier to roll it up. And then you can cut it into pinwheels. You can just cut it in half, whatever your preference is. Here's what it looks like. This looks so good. So I think I am actually going to cut mine into just four little pinwheels. And then here's what it looks like. This actually looks really good. You could use mayo. You could add avocado. There's so many things you could do. I was also thinking sprouts would be really good added to this as well, like those broccoli sprouts or just the sprouts that you put on sandwiches. I mean, the possibilities of these little wraps and pinwheels is endless, but this is what I'm going to have for lunch for the week. Again, with some chips of my choice. Let me go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. I'm so excited for this sweet treat this week. I'm making homemade Snickers. Clean, healthy ingredients, no white sugar at all. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need sugar-free syrup of your choice, all-purpose flour, you could use almond flour, oat flour, whatever your preference is, milk of your choice, peanut butter, chocolate chips. These are the Chalk Zero. I have a mix of dark chocolate and milk chocolate. Like I mentioned, I love the Chalk Zero chips. To me, they taste like regular chips. There's none of that weird cooling effect and bitterness that you get from Lily's. Hands down the best sugar-free chocolate chip. So I'll link Chalk Zero down below with the discount. They have so many great things on their website. You'll also need some peanuts, salt, and dates. So the first thing we're doing for the homemade Snickers bars is we're making the nougat layer. Now this is a little bit more complicated recipe than our other two. Those were so easy, but I promise you it's going to be worth it. So the first thing we're going to do is add two and a half cups of flour to a bowl. On my food scale, I weighed out 110 grams of sugar-free syrup and 200 grams of peanut butter. And then we're going to mix this together. I do have my Fairlife milk here. If we need to add in a tablespoon or two of milk to get the right consistency, that's what the milk is for. We want our mixture to be crumbly, but we're still able to press it together. So very similar to a dough. So I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of milk. I added one and then I just added a second just to, again, get that crumbly consistency. I lined an eight by eight baking pan with parchment. We're going to add the nougat and press it into place. We're going to place the nougat layer in the freezer while we make the caramel. Now for the caramel layer, everything's going into a food processor. So I went ahead and pitted 12 dates. To that, I'm going to add 85 grams or a third of a cup of sugar-free maple syrup. 55 grams of milk, 200 grams of peanut butter, and then a pinch of some salt. And then we're going to process this until it's completely smooth. So I pulled the nougat layer out of the freezer. We're going to spread the caramel layer on top. And then we're going to sprinkle our peanuts on top. I have one cup or 120 grams. I forgot to mention that I did cook my flour down for a few minutes before we added it to the nougat base. You can also substitute, like I said, almond flour or oat flour, coconut flour, if you don't wanna have to worry about cooking your flour first. And then we're just going to press the peanuts into that caramel layer. And then this is supposed to go back in the freezer for four hours or overnight before you pull it out, cut the into bars and then drizzle the chocolate on top but because I am on a little bit of a time crunch I'm going to just do the chocolate now put it right on top and then I'll cut them into bars after so I will pop up here a picture of it, what it looks like if you cut it into bars first you do allow it to freeze for four hours to overnight but like I said I'm going to just go ahead and melt down my chalk zero chocolate chips I have 150 grams I'm going to add a little bit of milk just to get a nice consistency of a ganache and we'll spread that on top look at how amazing that looks so we're going to just spread that as our final step 
right on top. And I'm going to just put it in the freezer until hardened, and then I'll go ahead and cut it into bars. So I'll put points, calories, serving size here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me for this week's meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all three recipes that I created for a healthy weight loss, successful weight loss week. Don't forget all of today's recipes are on my recipe website. That is linked in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, again, we'd love to have you join our Facebook group. So come on over, join us. It's free. It's supportive. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to a successful week, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.